Hey, what's up you guys? Shardamus Prime here doing another action figure toy review for you on the Dragon Ball Z Super Saiyan Goku from Figure Arts, which was shipped from JRA Nightmare. Big thanks, man. He sent this over to me just so I can get a shot at reviewing him as well as Trunks right here. So look out for that review as well. And yeah, big thanks for sending this over to me, man. Really, really appreciate it. If you've not subscribed to JRA Nightmare, please do so. You will not regret it. He is the adult collector guru like he collects everything that adult collectors are into it's it's a trip so it's a half hour show uh well more or less and he posts up once a week and it's just a really cool show or he just talks about all the different stuff that he's collecting and then he does reviews within the show he collects everything from gundam to marvel universe I and mean, he has nfl figures he collects masters of the universe classics ccuc marvel legends uh, hot toys, um, just do just everything that is is sick. He he's picking it up, man. So it's very very cool, very very well worth it. So subscribe. And this figure right here is dope as hell. Now I've been really curious about this figure. I've not only seen JRA Nightmare talk about this a lot, but also Book Nice Ten and from Brazil with Love, and a lot of people actually have been talking about these guys on the Facebook page. And this is incredible. It's about a six inch scale figure. Uh, so here's black suited Spider-Man from Marvel Legends, and if I get this guy standing up, so you can see he's like a little shorter than than Spider-Man. Well, minus the hair. So it's a six-inch figure. So that's very cool, and this is very very well articulated, and the paint apps are insane on this thing. It's it's just absolutely impressive as hell. This is a Japanese figure, so they really do go all out on everything. Now he comes with an interchangeable face that you could see right here. And it still has that cartoony look. Now, I'm not a huge Dragon Ball Z fan. Uh, I was really into the Frieza saga, but that's about all I can really remember from it. So I think that face sculpt is really cool. And then this one, actually, I think is a little bit cooler. The meaner one. I think that's dope as hell. Look at that. Very, very nice. And the paint shading throughout is very, very cool. Now, it's really hard to pick up on the camera because it's so subtle, but it's really there. You can see how it's like white up at the top right here. Now, I, I did drop the head. I have to try to fix this right here. He's been super cool about it, but I was on my live show and the head came off, which it can come off, but I uh, got a little bit of paint nicking right there. So, if, uh, yeah, so I'll either try to fix it or buy him a brand new one, but, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out. Eat these wrinkles. It does have, like, darker blue, and on the pants and everything, it's, it is shaded, but it's just really, really hard to pick up, but it is there. I really like how this is sculpted and painted right here. The That came out really dope. You can see the paint detail just right in there. It's very cool. I said it's very hard to pick up on the paint detail, that it's, but it's there. And same thing right here on the arms. You can see a little bit right there. So he does have shading all throughout. It's just kind of tricky to pick up. Now to remove his, well, the front of his hair just came off right there. But you take this piece out right here. And you could remove the front of his face like that. And then it just has these two empty pegs like this. And then you just plop this in. And there you go. It's a more relaxed, serious Goku. Pretty sweet. He also comes with interchangeable hands. So he has two sets of these hands right here. These opened finger ones. And as you can see right here, he has his, you know, his gripping kind of ones that I think are for the Kamehameha. And then he has his fists right here, which are cool. And then he also has this hand gesture right here, which I like to call the Bulma Pleasure Pose. You know, the Bulma Pleasure Pose. I saw the Dragon Ball Z Evolution movie. Uh, I thought that was actually quite awesome because it had Jamie Chung in it. But besides that, I thought the movie sucked. My brother was all pissed because I kind of liked it. But he was like, dude, the movie was absolutely terrible. I'm like, yeah, I know it was terrible. It had hot Asian in it. So I was like, yeah. The articulation is, is really really awesome on this now a lot of the figure has these parts where it's kind of shifty like you can see like the torso joint just shifts up and down like this but 
it's just so that in but then his his belt is 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 movable so it's like it's made so that it's like seamless you know so you could tilt him all the way back and then shift shift the belt around a little bit so that you can't really see any of the creases you know and then same thing with the arms over here it's kind of tricky well let me start with the head so his head moves down very very far like that and up and like I said his head comes off pretty easily so it has this joint right here and he has a bunch of these joints that are very much like the Revel Tech or the Hot Toys joints that's what it reminds me of right here except it doesn't come out so you, so you can see how that moves up and down and then he also has a neck joint that moves down like that and, and it moves side to side a little bit too so that's pretty damn awesome he has this shoulder pad thing, which reminds me of Iron Man figures, the, the most, most recent movie Iron Man figures that could shift around like this, so you can cover things up after you move the arm around. So he has this joint right there, and it shifts around up and down like that, but he also has, and it's also hinged inside right there, he has a bicep swivel, he has single, whoop, just took his hand off, he has, uh, it's like a double jointed elbow actually, and then he has the same kind of peg thing deal that he had on top of his head right here and that's how you can interchange the hands yeah the parts on this guy do come off but it's it's actually good that it does that it's almost like the transformers that are meant to break so it's easier that it, it's, it's actually good that it does that and his torso joint moves around a lot I mean that's a lot of movement right there and it moves side to side so that's just a crazy ass waist, waist joint now his legs have this other cool thing too where you could like shift them down and out so it's I don't know I'm not really familiar with this technology but it's really cool I think it's very very neat so it can move outward like that it can move forward and could also shift down and up it's it's kind of strange it's, it's but it's very cool he has this double jointed knee thing going on right here this is the only part of the figure I don't really like is that the knee gets exposed pretty bad like that but you know it's just my one gripe uh, he has calf rotation right here just moves a little bit, moves side to side at the ankle, moves down, moves up a little bit, has a beautiful ankle pivot, and he has toe articulation. So a very, very cool figure. Uh, I think this guy's really pricey. Uh, he's over 100 bucks, but um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just a very, very well-made figure. It's pretty damn incredible. So yeah, I'm really impressed with this stuff. I wish I knew a little bit more about Dragon Ball Z so I could get him into better poses, but you know, as for now, you know, uh, I, I can make do until I send them back to JR. All right, I hope you guys dig my review, and I'll catch you later. Peace. That's crispy. Hey, what's up, you guys? You want free stuff? Do you want free stuff? You go to BKBN.net. That's right. There's a BKBN lottery going on right now, hosted by Anthony James at the moment. So what you got to do is you got to go to BKBN.net. You leave a comment under the posts. If you leave comments on many posts, you can increase your chances of winning a lottery. And it's basically a $20 gift card, the new lottery every two weeks. So check it out. Go to BKBN.net, leave a comment on a post. If you leave multiple comments on one post only, it does not help you at all. you got to leave it on multiple posts. So check that out. Also, I still have shirts right here, so please message me if you're interested in picking up a Shardimus Prime t-shirt in black. And then check out my last two videos right here. The, the fingering, the, the chick, I can't remember the chick's name, but whatever.